qualified, professional, and compassionate doctors talking real solutions to real health problems. Welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Doc Talk Show, where we discuss one of the reasons many of you find yourselves at the doctor's clinic. And this is none other than back pain. And with me today, I have an internal medical physician, Dr. Daria Sowachi, and an orthopedic surgeon, Dr. Moses Muhumza. You're welcome to the show. Thank you. So, Dr. Darius, people come to the hospital all the time talking about back pain, complaining that they have back pain. When we talk of back pain, what are we talking about? What exactly is, is this back pain that people come with? Okay, thank you, Dr. Fiona. So back pain is um, an abnormal sensation, a sensation of discomfort that the patient feels. And in this case, when you're talking about back pain, it means it's coming from the back, which comprises different structures. Mm -hmm. uh, it comprises uh, bones. There are 33 bones which make up what they call the vertebral column or the, there's a column of bones at the back. It also comprises muscles, uh, ligaments, as well as other soft tissues, all that comprise the, the region which is called the back. So back pain per se can arise from any of those structures, whether it's from the bones, the muscles. Oh, okay, thank you very much. Uh, Dr. Muhumuza, we know that most of the people who come to orthopedic clinics come to complain about back pain. What percentage of people are these and how common is back pain actually uh, in your clinics? Um, adult patients usually come complaining of back pain. Uh, not just the adults but children as well. Mm -hmm. But uh, almost 50% of the patients we see that are adults come to the orthopedic surgeon complaining of back pain. Mm -hmm. um, of these, uh, it can be uh, acute problems or something that has been ongoing for several years which mm -hmm. can be a very chronic problem. Mm -hmm. Yes. So so when we talk of acute we are saying someone started with this back pain yesterday, two weeks ago, two months ago? I would call something acute being less than three months. Okay. Uh, and anything more than that starts to become chronic. O okay. So when we talk of this, uh, of this back pain, do we have back pain that these acute pains, for example, I could have fallen yesterday or something, are there those that resolve by themselves or they will all need treatment? What exactly happens? Which people will generally get back pain? Would children get back pain? Would it be adults who get back pain? Because you mentioned adults. Is it only adults that get back pain? Um, the majority of back pain per se is what would describe as low back pain. Mm -hmm. uh, he described uh, the pain, the, the number of bones that come from the spine uh, all the way from the, the base of the skull up to the pelvis. And uh, these are all levels at which someone can have uh, back pain. But we are looking at ma majority of the patients come with problems that result from low back, back pain. pain. Okay. Yes. So it is a, it's a very common symptom. I think almost everyone has experienced an episode of back pain. Whether it's a, so it, what I'm thinking is it can occur in any age, mm -hmm. whether it's a child, whether it's an adult, whether it's an elderly person. With back pain. But um, maybe we'll say that it tends to occur in certain age groups, mm -hmm. you know, as you'd say. Yeah. Like for example, in the people who are like the youth or the middle-aged people, they can experience back pain for a variety of reasons, as well as in the elderly. So for example, why would a child, a young child, experience back pain, or why would we have a child, would we have risk factors that would predispose a child to getting back pain in future? Or is, is anybody to know that me as Fiona, when I reach a certain age, I would expect to get back pain. Are there things that happen in childhood that would lead to future back pain? Um, problems of uh, back pain with children are usually what would term as resulting from congenital problems. Mm -hmm. They are born with these problems. Most likely they are skeletal deformities. And in these you have uh, things like scoliosis, uh, where the bone, the back is carved in a different, in an abnormal way. Uh, could be resulting from infections, 
of the spine. Mm -hmm. uh, very commonly, we've been seeing tuberculosis of the spine mm -hmm. and also other spontaneous infections that do come in. Among children? Yes, among the children. So, Dr. Darius, in the, in the youths, it, we know that is in children, and, and Dr. Muhums has told us about children, the things they are born with, which we normally call congenital abnormalities. But we know that there are some, some, some things you might be exposed to in the middle age that could also lead to back pain. What are some of these examples? Okay, so the most common cause of back pain in uh, people like you or me, they, they, what they call the middle age, the middle age, middle age people, is uh, due to mechanical stress. Mm -hmm. By virtue of the work you do or the posture in your seat when you're at work, or if you're engaged in uh, heavy duty, heavy duty work and you do a lot of bending, mm -hmm. and you cause all that strain on the back and on the spine and on the bones, that can result in you're actually very, very right because I now understand because you know when we are packing luggage for, for travel for airports, they give you a maximum amount that you can, you can put in a suitcase so that you do not strain the backs of people who are carrying their luggage. And another thing is also, you know, people tend to carry heavy loads. I see it in school children. They pack their backpacks with lots of books and that in the long term can predispose to yeah, there are several studies that have actually been done on, uh, on children and their backpacks uh, mm -hmm. that are out there. And uh, studies have of course shown that it is recommended for a child to carry at least a tenth of, uh, of their weight. So if a child is about uh, maybe 10 kilograms, you shouldn't give them a backpack that is more, more than, than one kilo. Mm -hmm. So those are some of the things. The child will actually come presenting with pains, with pains in, the, in the back some of those things can be attributed to. But when you are talking of uh, the youthful people, mm -hmm. we also get to remember that uh, women also come in with these problems, especially after delivery or after pregnancy. And uh, the child has been born and the, 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 the mother presents with this persistent low back pain. Mm -hmm. And those are some of the, uh, uh, the problems that we get to see. We have this, I don't know, maybe you're here to correct it. I don't know if it's a myth or misconception. Okay that they tell women, I remember when we were in high school and you'd show up with a back pain to the school nurse and the school nurse would, would shout at us and say, you're the girls who go carrying around men who are 50 kilos more than you. Is, is, would a slim lady who has a husband that is maybe six, 90, 100 kilos be predisposed to back pain? Do we call that mechanical traumatic pain to the back? I think you're talking about weight in this case. No, 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 no. I'm a slim woman. And my husband is a hundred kilos. Mm. Is that mechanical trauma? Would I be? Uh, would that be a predisposing factor to me getting back pain at one age, at one point? Well, you're going to carry loads that are bigger than what you can, <laughs> what you can carry. So definitely, in a way, it will cause you back pain. Okay. We so also have uh, this arthritis that everyone talks about. Arthritis. I've been diagnosed with arthritis. Old people have arthritis, and that's also one of the causes of uh, of back pain. But then, now we've talked about children and the youths and the middle age. What happens in the elderly? Because, the, we, you, like you mentioned, the older one grows, the more pain they have. So, Dr. Mhumza, what do we have in the elderly that also gets them into getting back pain? Um, back pain in the elderly, as one grows older, we get to hear of things like wear and tear. That is where you get to hear of uh, this arthritis coming in. Um, so as one grows older, the tissues tend to become tougher. Um, you tend to lose your youthfulness. The elasticity, that the elasticity of the ligaments, the they become the... more tense. Uh, there is something that is called a disc. You've heard people talking about the disc. So these are like shock absorbers between the, the spinal bones along uh, along the spinal mm -hmm. column. Mm -hmm. And these, while you're younger, they have uh, some fluid in them. So as you grow older, just imagine you have a balloon and you fill it with water. It's easily compressible. Mm -hmm. Okay, it can bounce in and out. Mm -hmm. And as you grow older, this fluid starts turning into a gel. Mm -hmm. So just imagine that it's turning into a gel and this gel now becomes less elastic mm -hmm. and has a tendency to, when you compress it, it will stay in that position. Mm. Just imagine now a balloon with Vaseline in it. Mm -hmm. 
okay mm -hmm. so when you compress it it will stay in there that position mm -hmm. and so some of these things are what we see in the in the adults mm -hmm. so it is more of a degenerative uh, process that is happening degenerative i mean that there is a lot of wear and tear wear and like tear tires tire. of a car yes the body is starting to give way in one way or another and then we also have tumors some of the tumors that we get, men normally get prostate cancer with advanced age. Would this also affect uh, tumors causing are, back pain? Tumors are a very, very important cause of back pain. Actually, it's just one of the things we screen for when someone complains of back pain. Some tumors or some cancers, let's say for people familiar with cancers, mm -hmm. they typically present with back pain. Mm -hmm. For example, prostate cancer, there are some cancers which come from like the liver, or the pancreas, as well as some blood uh, cancers like uh, one called multiple myeloma. Mm. So they all commonly present with back pain. So you can have a cancer in one body part and it yes, spreads and to and the it's back. Kind of like embedded in the back. And so it causes the will come with back pain. I've had back pain for a long time, long time. We always have to check for the tumors. So I believe we now all understand what back pain is and what causes it. After the break, we shall see when do you actually need to see an orthopedic surgeon? When do you seek specialist help and the complications that come with back pain? But remember to send in your questions on our social media platforms. We're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, and your questions will be answered immediately. You are watching The Dog Talk Show.